Okay, this is a very, very interesting device I made long ago because maybe it was, I don't know, maybe 18 years old around that. Yeah, that's in 2000, 2008, 2009, something like that. Um, yeah, this is a chronograph meter, it's, it measures the speed of, of something that you can enter put inside here and it will measure the speed it's based on two infrared sensors and it has two LEDs on the other side let's see if I can find it. yeah I found here some of the prototypes um, this is the pipe it's the same pipe you find here okay it lost a bit the, the painter. This is a high density polypropylene plastic pipe. It's extremely, extremely resilient, which means that you can shoot this, you can do whatever thing with this, and it absorbs energy. It's very difficult to cut because it takes a lot of energy to cut it. And it's not fragile. It's not, sorry, it's not fragile. Um, it's very good for this task because you know if you made a mistake and you are trying to measure the speed of some projectile and you don't you don't align perfectly and you hit one of these walls the last thing you want is to have something very hard as metal because will break out the projectile and finally clot the holes here the holes for the for the sensors and then you have to disassemble the the device and clean it up and of course you don't want this to be broken you don't want some fragile material here and you don't want a soft material easy to easy to blend or easy to deform because you will need to replace in some time if you make many mistakes here um yeah i have another one here this was one of the first uh prototypes when it was not inside a box, it was completely outside, and you can you can see here the mm, these are the i the infrared sensors here. Okay, you have one here, two here. They are digital, very good because you just need to put a resistor in series to power this up, and you ha you will have the digital signal output. Don't need to deal with with analog. And makes everything very easy. They have, they have a circuit inside, and it's say it's controlling all the the power that is going inside the the photodiode inside and comparing with the, some level there and just bringing to you the digital signal, which is quite impressive for the size. And these are the two LED infrared devices and they are producing the the light which goes through to the other side and when the projectile is going inside bam blocks the path of the light and and the signal of one of these goes down and then you measure it okay it's quite interesting um i'm going to show a bit the the menu and everything um, okay this is where you put something to measure um, it's like this big just in case you will need to align something bigger I was thinking about making them replaceable and removing if you want to measure things with higher diameter for example if you're measuring some airsoft gun and measure with higher diameter you will put another one something like yeah, something like this. Maybe too big, no? <laughs> yeah, I think you are never going to mess with something like this. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, it, it could be, you know, if you change this this pipe, if you change it for a higher diameter, you can. As long as you uh, the projectile is able to touch the, the 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 light path, then you will have a measurement. And okay, it has a button here that completely. It stops, cuts the, the entire circuit, uh, which is very good for battery life. This has been, yeah, around yeah six years, seven years with 
the same battery, never changed. Um, yeah, of course, it, it's completely cut, you know, the battery is there and has no liquid current there. There's no circuits in a sleep mode or whatever um, and can last very long. Probably the battery in some time will be destroyed, you know, starting to leak the the hydro hydroxide inside or something. It's a normal 9 volts battery, we would see it. And uh, here, I don't know if it's visible, okay, here we have the, the buttons, these buttons are to control the menu. And okay, let's turn it on. Okay, sorry about the language because it's in Spanish, but I can translate it. The first thing, uh, the first of all is a speed. And these buttons, the top one is okay. The this first middle one is like go going up, go up, go down, and back. Um. Okay, let's try to enter in speed. And there it goes. We have everything. We have a meters per second, feet per second, kilometers per hour, and the number of of a. Uh, records we have it will show the number of records because it's very useful if you don't know if the last uh, projectile was measured it's very very useful and okay let's go back and uh, this is a uh, rate of shooting because it's able to measure the shoots per second shoots per minute and again the number of shoots Let's go to... This is the weight of the projectile and you just measure the... Okay, here is the weight of the BB and you measure it and you change it and... You know, 24... And this is very useful to calculate the energy. This is the energy and you have the energy in millijoules uh, yeah, again the the grams, no? the the grams, the weight you choose before, and the number of of suits you made. Uh, it's it's very interesting because everything is working now. I mean, now it's able to measure, and even if you are in this in this part of the menu, you can shoot, and you can measure the energy. And if you already shoot and you go to to speed, you will have. A measurement here which is everything is is in the in the memory it's very very useful that because you cannot you cannot show everything at the same time in the screen but doing this uh, you just like go through the menu and uh, yeah I want to know now the energy okay the energy is there of the last shot so shoot and there it goes okay and having the rate of firing of shooting and having the energy is very easy to calculate the output power and this is the mechanical output power of the projectiles uh, imagine if one projectile is uh, has one joule of energy um, you have one shoot per second then you have one bat and that that's what this is measuring it's measuring the these are the uh, shoots per second. These are the power, the, sorry, the energy of every one of each. And this is the total power output, which is very, very useful, especially with airsoft guns. Some of them are way more efficient than others. And it's extremely useful that. Okay. Um, okay, this is the memory. You can save new one. You can save. Uh, to old one you have two slots of memory new and old and this is like overwriting you can load you can delete and this is the options you have the backlight you can remove the backlight I don't know if you are able to see but you know it's still working just the backlight went off to save the even more battery and yeah, you have contrast and reset everything just in case uh, you know it's not a lot to reset here but just in case there it goes um yeah it's very very useful let's see if i can 
enter here and drop something, some type of a screw here to see if we can measure it. Okay, yeah, it measured it. It's one meter per second, three kilometers per hour, and there it goes, one. And let's measure again. Okay. Okay, this is this time is even worse. It's zero meters per second. <laughs> okay, the resolution of this of this device is one meter per second, and the maximum the maximum uh, speed this can be this can measure is fifty thousand meters per second. Yeah, you, you are hearing it right. 50,000 meters per second, which is the you know the speed of a satellite, or or I don't know, and there's nothing, there's nothing that can reach that speed on Earth. You need to go to the to the space. But it's true that if it reaches 50,000 meters per second, the the precision will be a uh, 50%, because it will be at the last moment, at the last. Uh, mm, okay, this works by measuring the speed. Uh, in in that the speed that the projectile takes to go from here to here. This is a very 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 precise distance that I know. It's exactly five centimeters. Um, measuring that speed, you know, you can make a calculation, just a a division, and you can have the speed there. Um, it has a, a stack, you know, a stack with an interruption. This is working with a PAC chip. It's a PAC, I don't remember now, maybe 690? Probably it's the 690. 16F690. And, you know, it has a counter with an interruption. And when the first light is, is hit here, it starts counting with an interruption. This is not, this has no any type of software pulling in a cycle. No, this cannot be done for, for such a high speed device. You need to use an interruption. It's working, I don't remember if it's working at 4 megahertz, megahertz or, or even 10 or even 20. Uh, I, sorry, I don't remember. Um, you know, the minimum speed is when the, sorry, the maximum speed and the minimum time is when the projectile goes from here to here and the, the counter is counting one sample. And that is exactly 50,000 meters per second. If the projectile is going half of the speed, this will count one and two. This, that will be 25,000 meters per second. Yeah, the resolution at that uh, at that speed is, is very very low. You know, it's very low. But who's going to who's going to shoot something at 50,000 meters per second? <laughs> at least not me. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, for the for the rate of, of shooting, for the rate of fire, it's using another interruption. I remember, but I don't remember exactly, but I think this this microcontroller has three timers. One is being used for measuring for measuring this uh, the speed and the other the other timer is being used for measuring the rate of fire. The first timer, of course, is is, is going very fast. The the pre-scaler is a, is a low, you know, because you want it to count very very fast to have uh, to have precision. Um, and the rate of fire is less important because maybe you know you can have a shoot every 100 milliseconds, something like that, and that's not fast enough to to have a high speed timer, high speed counter. Um, uh, yeah, you will have a precision. I think the minimum the minimum amount of rate of fire this this is able to to measure is one fire one one shoot every three seconds. I think so. But I mean, what type of automatic gun is able to to shoot less than that? You know, even in semi-automatic, you can shoot faster. Um, okay, okay. Just to clarify, here you see the the speed there. Uh, let's check it out the energy there it goes oh okay we have zero okay yeah we have zero meters per second we have zero zero joules let's see if I can yeah, I don't know throw this and push it a bit no still not uh, let's see, try again not anymore 
I'm going to, I don't know, to blow here, maybe. Okay. Okay, that was fast. That was fast, but I think it didn't, it didn't take it. Yeah, it didn't take it properly. Okay, when, for example, if the projectile is not aligned, perfectly aligned in the middle, like, you know, in the middle, and it's going in mind through one of these sides to the end, then it's not crossing the path of the light. And maybe you can have that you hit the... This number went up, but there is nothing here, which means that the projectile only hit the first one. Only hit the first one and started the interruption of the microcontroller, but never finished. Which means like it's a non-valid measurement and it will have zero here. Okay, let's check it out because maybe in the last one we can have some energy here. No, it's not the nose. It's still not the nose. Okay, I'm going to try with something bigger. Let me check. Okay, I have this type of plastic washer. I'm going to try. Okay, nothing again. Well, that's... Yeah, I think the resolution is not enough. And it's throwing all the time zero. Okay, I'm going to try with... Uh, I'm going to try with... With something more powerful. 